gears mesh, and separation trays thresh. Southern Alberta farms are dormant another six to eight weeks, but seed cleaning plants are in overdrive. This is our harvest. Clean input into the land, quality crop come August. It's pretty simple and the scene's similar at all 17 seed cleaning co-ops around Southern Alberta. Trucks drive up, dump their dirty seeds, then a three-step process ensues. Seeds travel a serpentine web through the plant, separating the weeds and the chaff. Before being dumped back for the return trip to storage bins. They want me to take the chaff and the weeds all out of their product. Then down the road, they won't have to spend more money on sprays to spray the weeds out. The technology mirrors many farm operations. Some is world class, like the Danish seed threshing machine, and some springs from the pragmatic minds of those who work the land. This plant outside Lathbridge cleans about 13 million kilos of seeds annually. 72 seed cleaning co-ops are currently in high gear across Alberta, and not much has changed in 40 years of operation, particularly the March Madness. We're running you know, from early morning to late in the evening to get all the grain clean for the farmers so that they can have it ready for seeding time. So the rhythms of another growing season are underway. In the threshing of seed cleaning for spring seeding, two months away. In Lethbridge, Norm LaBasse, City News. The old saying, necessity is a mother of invention. That's why we got here. Cast back some seven years ago, the BSE crisis affecting Canadian ranchers forced greater accountability in the cattle industry. An ever-increasing load on us to uh, to keep track of what we're doing, report it, you know, verify what we're doing, and you know, prove prove to everybody that we're being responsible with how we're raising our animals. At the time, cattle ranchers and feedlot operators were recording animal data on recipe cards, basically a 19th century approach, pen and paper, to a 21st century crisis. And on feedlots like this one, thousands of animals are housed in small areas, fattening the cattle for market. Now you have all these stacks of recipe cards with individual animal information on them. Obviously for reporting needs to any government agency or whatever, it would be a nightmare. It strongs on opportunity in bureaucracy. No user-friendly data entry software programs existed for feedlots. So we went about inventing one with business partners Daryl Gibb and Cannon Smith. We wanted a way that the data entry would happen where and, and, and when the action was, was happening. There's well over 100 different data points on every a uh, lot of cattle. So four years of research and development began at Strong's Feedlot. The goal, creating a user-friendly program that didn't interrupt the workflow. Our employees are doing it while they're processing cattle, for instance, while they're feeding cattle. They don't actually feel like they're doing data entry. Installing and maintaining the SSG Fusion software begins at about $500 a month based on the size of a feedlot operation. And it's getting good reviews. If you have an index finger, you can use it. It works off of touch screen at the shoot side, and it works according to the flow of what we normally do as opposed to trying to train cowboys to become computer users. SSG Fusion began selling two years ago, and Strong says sales are growing steadily as the word gets out. In Picture Butte, Norm LaBasse, City News.